Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And today we're gonna to be talking about my upcoming league season bag. So stay tuned. guys welcome back and today I decided to do another short video from at home kind of explaining what's gonna be in my upcoming 22-23 league bag as of right now um, so the five balls I'm gonna take the league with me plus my spare ball and I may only take four three main and a spare I don't know yet but what will be going with me will be the phase four, the DBA collision, the Zen Soul, and of course the Zen, and the Iron Forge. So let's talk about what I'm going to start like maybe in game one. Um, in game one, I'm going to be looking at between one of these two balls for the beginning of the night when the oil is fresh and heavy. Um, if I'm gonna need something a little cleaner through the mids and get a good read at the when it finds friction, I'm gonna start into the DV8. But in practice, a the DV8 is skidding too much and not finding the friction. Then I'm gonna get something with a little bit of surface on it. So I'm gonna probably jump into the Zen Soul. And in between all this. I will put a uh, little video clips in of me throwing these balls. The only one I don't have a video clip on is the Iron Forge. I didn't have any saved on this phone. So the DV8, I really liked it. Like you heard me before in uh, uh, a couple other videos, I thrown it in a demo, loved it, had to have it. I only had a couple nights of leagues on it. And I really like the DV8 on how I can control it. This ball, so far, if I want to play a touch straighter than I normally like, because like you guys see in my videos, I don't really throw up like 10 or anything like that. I kind of stay 15, 20, 25 range at the arrows. And I apologize for the birds. They're uh, having a little bit of playtime they're out flying around so I'm sorry about them making noise huh but anyways back to the DBA collision I just liked how smooth it is and like how predictable it was for me like if I got the ball out I knew it was going to make the turn if I got it in the oil depending on what game I was in it would either hold the oil but if I got into a later block it would it wouldn't sit but i knew what this ball was gonna do and what it was gonna do where i threw it the zen soul i don't have much time on it as you guys seen i finally got back to bowling and i got to finally throw it this past week and i actually like it like in my video i didn't throw many strikes with it i think i thrown one or two strikes with it but i was still taking it easy and try to figure things out so i'm going to do a video clip now showing you the dva collision and the zen soul and why they would be my first out of the bag on league night on the fresh oil so stay tuned we'll be right back all right let's see if i can make a good job There it was. It's all right. Since we're back from that short video clip showing you the DV8 and Zen, and as you can see in that video, these balls are, you know, pretty angular down lane for me, for my revs and my speed. So, all right, so game one's over. 
And I may get into game two with whatever one of these two I started with. Depends on how it's rolling for me in game one. So let's just take a scenario. Okay, lane one's burned up because there is 10 people to a pair of lanes on our league night because it's five on five. So if the lanes start burning up for me and these balls seem to either start over undering or just over hooking i'm going to be looking into game two at probably the phase four or even the iron forge the iron forge has been pretty 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 good for me like i said i was averaging about 204 with it i believe and only like 13 or 14 games with it that i've thrown it but it was a pretty controllable ball for me. It was one of my, it's one of my favorite um, forges so far. I did like the forge flare, but out of both of them, I like the iron forge a lot better. Um, the phase four, it was the first two LS layout ball that I had. And at first I didn't like it. I didn't like how it was rolling. I didn't like how it was acting. Um, it was very uncontrollable for me plus it was a new layout you know but once I put a little surface on it I think I have it at 4k fast but when I took it to the tournament yeah when I took it to that tournament I went to 4k fast with it and it seemed to roll pretty good so that ball stays at 4k fast and I like it so when I started getting on a little bit of a burn for me it's gonna be either the phase 4 or the iron forge um, for me, the difference between the two is the iron forge seems to be a little longer. So it gets through the mids a little bit further down lane, but it comes off the spot down there really nice. The phase four for me wants to read the mids. It doesn't want to read them real early, but it wants to read them a little bit earlier than the iron forge does for me. So, just a prime example, I'm just going to throw these numbers out there. I know I'm probably, I'm not the best bowler in the world, and I don't know all this stuff. But for me, let's just say this ball is going to take 40 feet before it starts reading the lanes, where this one may take, say, 32 feet or 33 feet down the lanes before it starts reading and picking up and going. So that's what I was getting at with like, this one's gonna go a little longer than this one. For me anyways, it might be, you know, different for everyone else. But for me, this one kinda reads it a little earlier than the Iron Forge. But pretend, pretend yeah, pretend. <laughs> Depending on what the lanes are giving me after game one, or even halfway through game one, or game two, I mean, whether I go into the Iron Forge or the Phase 4. So, like I said, I don't have any video clips of this one saved on my phone to add, but I do have one of the Phase 4. So let me show you that clip real quick and we'll be right back. Alright guys. So as you see the phase four, it gets down the lanes pretty good. You know, it reads, reads the lanes pretty well for me. Um, so like I said, getting into game two with either one of them or even starting halfway through the second game, you know, like I said, depending on which one of these I start with and how it's doing, you know. You know, as a bowler like myself, you may start in say the soul and you might end you might end up rolling it all night long you know you may not have to you know step down to the phase or the zen or the iron forge you know but i'm just using this kind of example of what i would do with what i'm going to take to leagues if transition happens quickly in our leagues so lastly not least depending on what happens game two you know whether i stay in the phase or the iron forge 
Game three, I will probably be in the Zen. Now the Zen for me, I can start game one and play the whole night with just this ball. You know, I can start out the night playing a little straighter and as the night progresses, I can move further left with this ball. So I mean, if I really wanted a two, I could get down to a two ball bag for leagues. You know, this ball, spare ball. You know, because the Zen, it is good. It is one of my favorites right now. You know, between these two, these two are my favorite balls right now on my lineup. Um, so let's just say we get into game three with the Zen. The Zen for me is really clean, very controllable, and very predictable for me. Like when I, like, like to deviate, no matter where I throw this ball, I know what it's gonna do. I know how it's gonna go through the pocket, you know, or it's gonna go Brooklyn. Cause as you've seen in my videos, I throw a lot of Brooklyn's. That's bad on me. <laughs> but anyways, so yeah, so like I said, the Zen, I can go start game one, game two, and game three and go all night with it. You know, I can, it's a ball that allows me to move with transition very easily. But if I had to, game three, lanes are really starting to burn up where the phase four and or the iron forge is over hooking. I can get into the Zen, something that's a little bit more cleaner, a little more controllable at that point of the night. And, you know, like all of us try to do is, you know, make good shots and, you know, get strikes. But that's what I would take. This is what I'm going to start my league season off here. The league start in about a month. August 26th starts my Thursday night league. I believe the 26th is on a Thursday. Starts my Thursday night league. And then the following Monday will be start of our Monday night league. So it's getting close. So I figured I'd kind of talk to you about what my arsenal is what's going to go to leagues with me at you know this fall and oh another thing too like i said these between game one and two monday night leagues is a mixed league so you know we got male and female so the oil is not as heavy they put a lighter oil down to make it you know more suitable for guys and girls our thursday night league on the other hand has like two or three more mills, so it's a little heavier. So this one may come into effect on Thursday night, you know, for first game since it has some surface on it versus this one. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see how things play out. But guys, I'm gonna throw a video up on this here and we'll be right back. Alright guys, so as you've seen, the Zen for me is really good, really clean, really controllable. Um, so that's what I'm going to start my fall season off with here. And if you like any of my videos, please hit that like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Don't, don't be afraid to share it with your friends, you know. I am trying to build my YouTube channel up a little bit. You know, so I can maybe do more stuff for you guys in the future. Um, I don't have a jersey on right now, but if you're looking for any great bowling jerseys, you can head on over to Bowlify. I will use my I will leave my coupon code down in the link below. You can head on over to Creating the Difference if you're looking for any ball maintenance or cleaning products. Or if you like any of these balls you see here today, you can uh, head on over to GiveHearts.com, GiveHeartsBowling.com, sorry, and you can find any of these on their website. You may not be able to find this one anymore. Maybe they might have a few, I'm not sure. But, yeah, you can head on over to GiveHearts, at least order any of these anyways. Like I said, I'm unsure about the phase four, but... They have other products there for you if you're interested in shoes, bags, balls, whatever. They got stuff there that you can browse their website and check out. 
So like I said, hit that like and notification bell, guys, and I'll see you out on the lanes.